This is the Excel grader project for, in this cell you're going to be using a formula to display the date. If you're on formulas, you should be able to figure it out from the date and time which one to use. I'm giving you some advice how to do it. A lot of this stuff is in the book. <clears throat> I'm talking about range names. What it is, if you're doing something such as this cell or whatever cell, it's A24 here. Um, that way you don't have to work with cell references. So it's A24 through B24. I just click up in the corner here and type in locker cost with an underscore. Make sure you're doing things precisely as instructed. Otherwise, the My IT Lab will take off points. What we're going to do here, I want to determine the annual membership cost based on the information down here. You don't want to just type in the number. So what it is, you want to find the basic annual membership cost. You've got these three cells here. Membership cost is in column three. Column one, column two, column three. So what I'm going to do, I'm in here. I'm going to do the VLOOKUP. So lookup value is deluxe. Shows deluxe here. Table array. Do not include the captions. As I'm copying it down, I got to make it an absolute reference. Hit the F4 key. The column index number that has the cost, whether it's 1, 2, or 3, it's column number 3. And then down here, make sure you type in false. Optional, but you need to do this for the greater lab. You know how to drag down. So that's the cost there. Locker. And what it is here, we're in E5. What it is, if somebody's running a locker, we got to add $85, such as Andrews. <coughs> so what we want to do and say, if it equals yes, we have to add $85 to this $575. Otherwise, it's just like for Carter, it'll only be $1,500. So it's equal... We're going to do the if statement. I sometimes type them in equal. It always, a formula always begins with equal. So I'm going to say if this cell equals quote yes. You've got to put quotes around it. If it's true, you add this, which will be an absolute, plus... To 575. If false, just here. So 660, you know how to drag down like that. I'm just only doing partial. Total due. What it is, you're multiplying the annual by the number of years. I hit the wrong thing. Equal six hundred dollars. If it were two years, it would be <coughs> thirteen twenty. Down payment. What the down payment is, if we look at the thing in here, um the down payment is based on the membership right here. See those cells here? So if you're deluxe, you have to put down $250. Just like we did over here. So you could do that on your own. And I'm just going to make up a number here. I want you to figure this out. So what it is, if they put a down payment, you would subtract. It would be this minus this. And then this is the payment type message. What it is, <clears throat> just 
just looking at the notes in here. You're doing it's seven hundred and fifty. They owe less than seven hundred and fifty. They owe a little less. If they um, do that, so what we're going to do, it's based on the balance, and 